I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. You've heard what their leader said. They will do anything to free their own. And if they are actually ready for a pitched battle, there will be piles of corpses. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Reinhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Desarde, I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? It would be my pleasure, but I'm too busy at the moment. Later, maybe. Did you want anything else? I must leave you.
Martin! You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I've been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me, then. Was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, Your Highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors. <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? How are relations with our allies? Oh, they bow and scrape, and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship, so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view, and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me, and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young, brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island, with our help. Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? <sighs> Honestly, once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. 
I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters. And I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. It seems impossible to make you change your mind. So I'll leave. Looking forward to seeing you again, Your Excellency. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Good. This pencil pusher is as rigid as a halberd. Do you know how to make him change his mind? Sir de Corsillion knows all the subtleties of courtiers. He'll know how to convince him. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? You never know. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? I would like to enlist your help in making the Minister of Commercial Affairs see reason. Did our finickety Minister of Paperwork bother you? He refuses to speed up the procedure to create a patent needed by a native merchant. The poor man has already had his wares confiscated several times. Despite the fact that if he were given permission to set up shop in our city, it would certainly improve relations with our neighbors. I'm not surprised. This man really loves to lose himself in writing up pointless paragraphs. Let me write you a recommendation letter. He'll see my seal, and I'm certain that he'll become more compliant. Thank you for your help, sir. Don't mention it. Always delighted to help you. And to bother this annoying little man. Can your old professor still prove him? 
Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsilior. Minister, your excellency, how may I sir? I would like to have another discussion with you about the patent for the merchant whom I told you about. As I explained, these things take time, but I'm listening. Sir de Corsillon was kind enough to give me a letter addressed to you. A letter of recommendation, I suppose. <sighs> I see. I have no other choice but to accept your request. But I hope all merchants will not make use of the same special favors. Here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, your... Happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and... He was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! 
Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Could you explain the rules again? Certainly. Regular combats take place in groups. Two of your companions will fight at your side. In order to become a champion, you'll need to win the five challenges that become more and more difficult. Each challenge is broken down into three rounds. You can take a breather in between each one. But if you give up on a challenge, you'll need to start all over again from the beginning. Once a challenge has been completed, you can fight any of the rounds you've already won again just for the fun of it. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh. That's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? It might be better for me to prepare myself. So if the combat could be put off for a little while... Hmm. Well, I can make that happen. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. My lords and ladies, here is a new team of fighters taking to our proud arena. Give them a hearty welcome.
me in this battle. To my help. And death kills. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity. And here they are again for the second. Ladies and gentlemen. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of excellence. Once again, they are here to kick up the sound.
me in this battle. To my help. And take us to the ground. I am wounded! May the enlightened come to my help! And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. You've grown to love their faces. You know their tactics. The excellence are back. And they are now more ready than ever to fight to win with all their hearts. The fourth challenge. Protect me in this battle! To my help! And death to the others! Your magic is running out! Take a potion!
in this battle. To my help. Public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Are you sure that this. This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So... Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you.
What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Almanawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ready to excite. Could you excite you know, but... once? I need to get going. Huh. Menawi, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, Ven, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan. The chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rainer. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go.
I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf, you're the leader of this camp. Do you two know each other? We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is De Sade. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. And I am Bishop Petrus. May the Enlightened guide you. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guard's business. Does the same apply to me? <sighs> Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret? even from your comrades in the guard. The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these, and yet I'd never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How is it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rayna. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. <sighs> All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable, but these things happen, you know? 
We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your Lieutenant Instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. I noticed. Good thing you know this Captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. <laughs>